Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining Art Kirsch and myself as we talk to Bill Jordan. Bill, great to see you again. Good to be seen again, guys. Thanks for having me back. I have a question for you, Bill. Um, I, you know, you're, we know you as a quiet uh, uh, guy who, who doesn't, not a lot of bragging and so on and so forth. You tell great stories about things you've been involved in, but not in a sort of bragging word. So you're really, in a lot of ways, an introvert. But I remember once we had to start a conversation, and maybe we can do it more here, uh, and I'm just going to call it being a vert. A v -E -R <laughs> okay? Because you have different stages of vertness. Uh, but I know that you've thought about it a lot. Can you talk about being a vert? Yeah, a vert. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a proud vert, uh, quite honestly. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, I think, you know, when I have thought about my career in radio 40 years now, I did 30 plus, almost 33 doing mornings. And most of that was with a team. So I'd have a partner, I'd have a news person. So there are other people around. But that first part of being in radio, you're just in a studio by yourself. You're doing your own thing. Um, I think there are a lot of radio personalities who are introverts um, who once they're off the air it's not necessarily that they're a different person I say that because I've always encouraged people on the air to just be themselves I think they are themselves but we tend to I, I think there's a lot of radio personalities who are really kind of either shy and retiring off air <coughs> Uh, they're not the extroverts that you might think they are. There are some, um, maybe more than some. But I worked with a lot of guys who were just off the air. They were quiet and they didn't socialize, weren't big partiers. You weren't going to find them at the nightclubs. You weren't going to find them dancing. You you just weren't. The, the extrovert part comes from when you've got to be an extrovert when you go and you're emceeing something or you're or you're talking to thousands of people in person, not the thousands of people that are on the air because you don't think about them. I don't think I talked to anybody who was on the air that that man, have you ever really stopped to think that there might be, you know, a hundred thousand people listening to you right now? Never thought about it. That would that would have probably scared me to death. Um but so what I've come to understand is I am an ambivert, A-M-B-I vert, back to the vert, um, in that I can be an extrovert when I've got to be or when it suits the purpose, but I tend toward, I think my natural inclination is introvert. And the way you test that is where do you gain your energy? Extroverts gain energy by going and being around a lot of people, going to a party, going to a big sporting event out there, you know, yelling and screaming. And that's how you, you feel energized after that. When I do those things, I am drained. I, I get my energy in solitude or with a couple of close friends or family members. Uh, I would much rather, rather than going to a party <laughs> where you will typically find me on the perimeter talking to one or two people. I would rather Marianne and I, my wife and I, go out to dinner with one or two couples. And I'm much more comfortable uh, doing that. Does that make sense? Sure. Which way, which way do you guys fall? Who are you? Sure. I, I'm probably an extrovert. Art, what do you think you are? Um, it's kind of what interesting. What kind of bird are you? I, I'm a... Probably an extrovert, but um, I like being alone. I like reading a book or a newspaper. Yeah. Um, and I get a lot of pleasure out of that. Uh, but when I'm with other people, I'm definitely uh, an extrovert. Although sometimes, if I'm not really into that whole crowd, I'll just observe. So I yeah. guess I guess I'm an yeah. ambivert, uh, uh, more so than. I show up and, oh, he's the life of the party, or he is, right. uh, you know, the studious one that is so quiet. Uh, so, like a lot Bill, of people, I guess I'm a, 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 a bit of an ambivert, just like yourself. 
Bill, why do you suppose so many people who are introverts, like yourself, let's say, go into a business like radio, stage, television, movies, that require them to be extroverts, even even part time. Hmm. What what is the attraction to an introvert to go into a business yeah. where you're talking to thousands of people? I have no idea, and there must be some sort of psychological miscue in there somewhere. <laughs> I must have some psychological flaw. Uh, I, you know what I think on. it is? I think it's balance. I think Maybe. everybody seeks balance. Mm. So Art says he's an extrovert. I'm an extrovert. He say, says he's an ambivert. I love moments of solitude as well. Mm. Um, but it's it's not that I could say that I'm happiest sitting under the tree, you know, communing with nature. I enjoy it, enjoy the heck out of it, but it's not my natural state. I think we're all searching for balance. So if you're an introvert, you probably know instinctively you need to get out there in one way, shape, or form. And maybe it's being on stage, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm, and, I, I, th I think there is a lot to be said for what I said earlier about is where do you get your energy? If yeah. you're around a lot of people, does that energize you? Do you leave a big party going, wow, that was fantastic. We got to do that again. Yeah. Or do yeah. you leave a big party going, man, I am worn out. I could sleep for two days. Yeah. You know, so I get my energy by quiet. I love my quiet mornings before Marianne gets up. <clears throat> then the dogs have to be let out every 30 seconds. Um coffee and downstairs, maybe a little music off a YouTube video, something from the 70s or 80s or 60s for that matter, uh, and just some quiet ease into the day. That's where I feel like I get my strength uh, and re-energize are in the quiet moments. That's, yeah, that's what I think. I, I just want to say that uh, that's my impression, knowing you from uh, the uh, years and years of uh, conversations that the three of us have had together is uh, I've seen enough pictures of you or of your cup sitting on sitting on the ledge of your of your uh, balcony or yes. your uh, yes. your, your porch and yes. filled with a cup of coffee steam coming out of it and you yes. reading a book written by Plato or some other dude uh, <laughs> and just sort of in a very reflective mood so I would say that probably you are you're on when you need to be on but you are an introvert and, and, and delightfully so. Yeah. And again, in the comments, you know, like, like the video, if you're liking the video, but make a comment underneath, which one do you think you are an introvert, uh, an, an uh, extrovert, yeah. or perhaps uh, the ambivert, the highly elusive ambivert. Right. But I'd like to know. All, all of us are in one way or another avert. Yes. Yes. Some people are averse to being avert, but most of us really are. You should not be adverse to being a bird. We got to figure out something like, you know, around to it. Get When you get around to it, okay, we have to figure <laughs> out something to use with the word vert. We, I think there's a whole new industry of vertness uh, yeah. that we could coin. As a matter of fact, let's trademark because you don't need to send it up to the government. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Art. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you like my sixth grade teacher, Ms. Chesson, would tell me. That's a great idea, Art. Why don't you work on that and report back to the class? Okay. <laughs> anyway, whether you are an introvert, extrovert, or ambivert, I would hope that you are living your life, forgetting your age, and embracing the boom. Thanks, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.